Alright guys, uh, doing something that I, in fact I think this is the first time I've done a video um, and this is a breakfast review or a morning beer review so uh, a big shout out to the lovely tasting niche and of course uh, Mr. Terrio from Louisiana Beer Reviews links are down below but I doubt you'll subscribe to me and not subscribe to those guys so um, yeah um, so of course the beer is from Camber Bavaria uh, probably my favourite German craft brewer. I've never had a bad, undrinkable, even bland beer from these guys. And uh, Camera Bavaria, if you look on like Rate Beer and if you look on their website and you look at the catalogue of beers that they do, they do a hell of a lot of beers and they manage to maintain that quality. I'm not being paid to say this by the way. They maintain really high quality and they just come up with all these new ideas and I recently had a collaboration that they did with Hofferbräu which um, yeah not my favourite beer from either breweries but it was still a good interesting beer. So today we have a sweet stout which um, yeah I like my I like my stouts just heard so much about this one and as always you get really nice artwork from Camera Bavaria uh, in a little different shaped bottle this time, um, from what I can remember, and there uh, is the Camber Crown. So this is a sweet stout clocking in at 5.2%. Uh, it uses barley malt, water, obviously, uh, lactose, rolled oats and rolled barley, hops and yeast. Uh, the hops are, are Fuggles, and it doesn't say on the bottle, but I, I looked it up before I started recording. Uh, Fuggles and um, basically British hops. I've completely lost the word. This is probably why I shouldn't do beer reviews in the morning. So uh, yeah, you'll have to excuse me. I've got a bit of a runny nose. We get on with the beer, we're at like five minutes, which is no surprise. I'm very, very excited about this one. Uh, this is gonna replace my porridge, I'm sure of it. Yeah, you definitely get like this British aroma from the neck. It's got like nice caramel, toffee. You do get that lactose sort of vibe as well. Smells good so far. Let's see what it looks like and smells like. And of course, tastes like in the glass. So uh, yeah, that's pouring nice. Very nice indeed. Don't want to give this too much head, he says as he straightens the glass a bit too early. That'll do. Here in a glass, uh, lighting is not too good right now. Um, it's nowhere near jet black. It's got a really dark, deep brown hue to it. In fact, is there anywhere where I can get good light? But it's a really intense, deep, oaky sort of brown colour. That's what I'm seeing anyway. And the beer poured with about just over a finger's worth of tan, fluffy, frothy, foamy head. And uh, yeah, it looks good already. So let's give it a bit of a swizzle and give it a sniff. Well, I'll definitely pick up like those rolled oats in there. There's like a slight caramel sweetness. A little bit milky. I am getting that sort of like porridge sort of um, vibe coming off this one. Yeah, those British hops. It's got that British traditional real ale hop character about it. It smells nice. It's not an intense smelling beer. And there's nothing really unique about it. But what is there is just so tempting, so robust on the aroma. There's a slight cola vibe as well. It's got that sweetness, but it's got like a nice rounded, slightly earthy quality to it. But yeah, caramel, malty, it just smells nice. It smells like a slightly grainy, boozy breakfast. Let's put it that way. Anyway, let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Toffee. There's a slight licorice character in there, especially on the back end. Definitely getting like a porridge, an oaty sort of vibe with this one. A slight chocolate sort of flavour. There's coffee in there. Um, sort of like a 
a not very sweet caramel macchiato, maybe. Ultimate hipster statement there. But this has got a nice balanced caramel sweetness there. And I am definitely getting like a coffee. I'm probably just bullshitting right now. But in my head, I've got an image of a bowl of piping hot porridge with some sugar on top. Then you heat it up again so it sort of crystallizes on the top. And then you've got a nice cup of coffee there. This is what it tastes like. And I don't know if this would be classed as like a breakfast stout. Because, you know, that's a very popular thing now. But this is actually going down really well. <coughs> There's no out of place flavours there. There's nothing offensive at all on the palate. It's a nice velvety beer. The It's not too heavy. It's not too um, like syrupy on the mouthfeel. Those oats are really coming through for me. And there is something slightly British in the flavour as well. But yeah, that's really, really, really nice. I'm really, really enjoying this one. It's homely, it's inviting, it's warming, but not too heavy. Um, and then you've got a really nice sort of like licorice bitterness on the back end, which just ends it perfectly. I don't know if I would really pair this beer with something and the cat is coughing up a hairball right now so please excuse that potentially disgusting sound that's being picked up on the camera because the that's a first cat being sick while i'm doing a beer review i wish i'd have picked up more bottles of this um, i found myself recently rarely just picking up new bottles all the time and not really sitting down and just enjoying beers outside of doing reviews. I mean, when I do that, it's usually like a Heller's beer, that sort of thing. I'd love to just sit down and enjoy a nice bottle of this. Um, especially come autumn and winter. This is going to be really, really nice. But it's one of those beers that's just, it's got such a nice flavour. And it's just really nice that you're going to drink it whenever. Because it's going to go down really, really well. Yeah, highly, highly recommended from me. Uh, definitely one of the best beers that I've had from Camber Bavaria thus far. So in terms of rating, um, there's nothing that I can fault with this beer at all. It's going down stupidly well. So it's an easy 10 out of 10 from me. Uh, if you get the opportunity to try this one, definitely do so. And um, yeah, Camber Bavaria. Uh, you know, what can I say? The... They're one of my favourite breweries for a reason. And um, yeah, I look forward to drinking a hell of a lot more beer from these guys. But when I, I fanboy about anything, I'll fanboy about something. And I don't care if it takes me 10 minutes to talk about it or half an hour to talk about it. I just wish I'd picked up a, like a Camper Bavaria glass. Because um, I want to rarely promote this brewery for God's sake. There's such a good high quality brewery. And, um, yeah, so get in touch with your local bottle shops back in the UK, in stateside or wherever you are in the world. And get them to get in touch with Camber Bavaria to get their beers to a bigger market. I know some of their beers seem to trickle into the UK um, from what I've seen. But they need more coverage. If you want to find out more about this beer and the brewery, the links are down below. Check out my Camber Bavaria playlist for more high quality beers. And uh, yeah, look out for more Camber Bavaria beer reviews in the future. So thank you guys for watching. If you tried this one, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you tried any Camber Bavaria beers, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. For much more condensed content from me, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. And if you enjoy these long rambly videos, then feel free to subscribe for more. And more importantly, I hope you'll join me with a nice brew next time. See you guys later, and thanks for sticking with me. Cheers. This is probably why I shouldn't do beer reviews in the morning.